welcome to the class. This will be a gentle yoga class. So find yourself into a comfort sitting position. Rock your sitting bone side to side. Maybe using your hand to grab one sitting bone out, away from the middle. Then use the other hands to grab the other sitting bone or the muscle around it out. And bring your thumb toward your hip crest. Roll your inner thigh in and lift your knee up and down gently. And begin to relax and let it happen naturally, hands on tops of the thigh. If this is not comfortable for you and then you feel, feel tight into your hips, using the block to sit on top of the block to elevate in your hips, or bring the block underneath your thigh bone, hands on tops of the knee, lift your chest up away from your belly and roll your shoulder back. Feel your chin slightly drop towards the back of your throat, lengthening to the back of your neck. And let your gaze down toward the floor and begin to close in your eye, whichever make you feel comfort and ease. Once you find yourself comfort and ease, begin to bring your awareness towards your breath. Breathing in and out to nose, to nose nostrils slowly and smoothly. Feel your breath without controlling or changing anything. Smooth, steady flow. And begin to follow the breath inside your body as you draw the air in. Feel your breath. Where is it that landing inside of your body? Which parts of the body that you feel expanding, open up the space and comfort? Each time you exhale, noticing the breath releasing out from your body and which parts of the body that feel contraction, tightness, so that the next in-breath, you can send that in-breath energy towards the area that you feel tension and tightness to allow each exhale to find more calmness and relax in each part of your body. Once your body relaxed, the breath begins to smooth, your mind begins to be quiet and calming down. Keep that tension towards your breath throughout your whole practice and bring that awareness to connecting towards your body. In the next few breaths, see whether you can take even a longer, slow, deep breath and allow that breath to be lengthening and begin to feel that, can you feel the bright vibrating or sensation around your ribs and your belly? Experience that without causing, without causing any discomfort. On the exhale, slowly let the air out until the last drop of air out from your body. Noticing the difference. A few more breaths on your own. Inhale fully and exhale completely. Begin to noticing the thoughts, emotions, the feeling that coming in, connecting back towards your breath. Observing your breath, one breath at a time. In the next couple breaths, Taking your time to set up the intention of your practice. What is it that important for you at this moment? How would you like your practice to be today? What's showing up here for? Then begin to find your way back to your natural breath. And if you're closing your eyes, taking your time, begin to slowly open up your eyes. Inhale, begin to draw your arms out, reaching it up, lengthening from your waist line up and maybe bending your elbow first. Exhale, allow your arms to be expanding out, drop your shoulder down, fingertips down toward the floor. We're gonna repeat it two more times. Inhale, feel the lengthening from your waist line up, lift the chest up away from your belly. Now if you have trouble to lengthen your arm, draw your pinky side, the outside edge of your pinky, reaching it up and you can continue bend your elbow. You feel that lengthening out from the outside of your arm from your tricep up. Exhale slowly, draw your fingertips down, feel the drop of your shoulder blade down towards your hip, fingertips down toward the floor. 
Then bring your hands in front of your knee. Begin to circle from your waist line up. You can engage in your wrist, your elbow and shoulder. Sensing the difference in mobility on each joint from the hips all the way up to your shoulder, down to your elbow and your wrist. On your next exhale, reverse to the opposite side. See whether you can find the difference between one side of your hips and the way the sitting bone touching down toward the floor on each side. Feel the difference and pause right here. As your hand reaching in, the, in front of your knee or tops of the thigh, begin to draw your elbow towards your ribs so that you can lift your chest up more to lengthening your torso. Feel the back of your neck reaching up toward the ceiling as you're breathing in. On your next exhale, begin to rotate in your left shoulder toward your right knee before you turn your head. So come back again. I see a lot of you have doing by turning your head first. So come back, inhale, lengthening. Exhale before you turn your head. Turn your left shoulder toward your right knee. Then when there is an urge to turn your head, then turn your head by drawing your chin toward your right shoulder. Inhale to lengthening more and exhale. See whether you can draw that left shoulder toward your right knee slightly a little bit more. Now keep your shoulder there. As you exhale, turn your chin toward your left shoulder. Then drop that left ear down. Draw the right ear up toward the ceiling, but keep using your left hand. Press toward your knee and draw that left shoulder toward your right knee. So that body is still twisting, but the neck go to the opposite side will loosen up the tightness into your neck and shoulder. Slowly lift your head back toward the center and slowly turn your chin over to your right shoulder. When your body ready, come back toward the center and notice what happening. What does it feel like into the left side of your shoulder? Inhale, lift both shoulder up toward your ear. Hold right there. Exhale, drop both shoulder down. Feel the weight of your elbow down towards your head. Breathing in, lengthen your spine. Hug your waistline in and lift the chest up away from your belly. Exhale, turn the right shoulder toward your left knee until you find the edge of your range of motion. Then turn your head to look over to your left shoulder. Breathing in, coming back toward the center and lengthening your spine. Take a pause. On your next exhale, then without turning your head, just turn the right shoulder toward your left knee first. Then bring your chin slowly turn toward your left shoulder. Feel the difference. Staying right here, anchor your right hand toward your right knee as if you're trying to grab in your knee or your thigh. Then slowly turn your chin over to your right shoulder. Once you find the edge, dropping that right ear down, bring your left ear up toward the ceiling or turn your chin and look up toward the ceiling. Keep your right ear down. Now you might lose the twist. So as your hand on your right knee, draw your right shoulder toward your left knee as you bring your chin toward the ceiling. Noticing the different the range of motion on this side. Exhale, slowly bring your chin down, turn your head over to your right side, pause. When your body ready, then turn your chin and body back toward the center. Observing the experience, inhale, lift both shoulder up with your ear. Exhale, side it up and drop it down. Breathing in and out to the side, reaching it up and allow the palms to touch. Interest your hands, bend your elbow and begin to draw in the pinky side finger up toward the ceiling, lengthening the pinky side as you're trying to bring your elbow up. A lot of you rounding your back, so lift the chest up, roll the shoulder back down towards the back of your hip. Maybe even gazing up toward the ceiling, draw your chin. Exhale, navel into the spine, begin to round your back one vertebrae at a time, bring your chin toward your chest, then pushing your palms away as if you're trying to lengthen your arm. Inhale, stacking the spine one vertebrae at a time, focusing on bringing the pinky side. You can let go of the interest of the pinky side, but point the pinky 
up toward the ceiling. Feel the lengthening from the outside of your wrist on the outside of your pinky side reaching up toward the ceiling and feel whether you can noticing that it helps you lengthen your arms more. One more time, exhale, navel in toward the spine, round your back one vertebrae at a time, bring your chin toward the chest, extending the arm at the shoulder height level and push your palm away. Breathing in, stacking the spine up, lift the arm and this time release. Focusing on pinky side, you can bend the elbow, but reaching the pinky up toward the ceiling as you're trying to extend the arms up. Exhale, left arm forward, right arm back. You can do twists from your west side up and turn the upper body, not the lower body, away from your body to twist to the right side. Then slowly bring the left hand to grab to your right knee reaching that right arms up as you drop your left elbow down toward your left knee. Feel the open up that armpit toward the ceiling. Turn the chin up. Exhale, draw your right arm down and extending left arm forward. Begin to untwist, hands back, pause and feel. Inhale, arm out to the side up toward the ceiling. Exhale, twist by turning your right arm forward, left arm back, rotating from the west side up, bring the chest towards the left side. Allow the arm to be lengthening by drop your shoulder down. Then slowly bring your right hand toward your left knee. Breathing in, lift your left arms up, drop your right elbow by bend your right elbow down towards your, the floor as you bring the left armpit up toward the ceiling. Breathing in, extending left arms back, right arm forward, then untwist back toward the center. Roll the knee to one side, either way, then come back to your table or hands the knee. I'm going to turn to the side. You don't have to turn because that way you can see how my positioning is. My knee underneath my hip, my wrist underneath my shoulder. Allow the tailbone and the shoulder to draw away from each other so that you lengthen your spine. Engaging your core, think about the table so you bring your navel in, chin down toward the floor. If you have hypermobility that your elbow pops up, slightly turn your thumb in as an internal rotation of your upper arm. Inhale, tailbone up, drop your belly down and reaching the heart forward as if you're trying to put the eggs at the lower back. Exhale, tuck the tailbone down, draw the navel in, rounding your back, bring the mid back toward the ceiling, chin toward your chest as if you draw your chest toward your belly, belly toward your chest. Two more times, breathing in, reaching the heart away from your belly, tailbone toward the ceiling. This is called cow pose. Exhale, tailbone down, rounding your back like letter C, and find the chest and belly to meet at the center. Palm down, lengthening to your arm, head pose. One last time, breathing in, feel the lengthening to the front body as we stretch the front body. Exhale, you're contracting the front body or navel into the spine, engaging your core. You're going to stretch the back body. Then come back to find your neutral spine. Maybe rock your hips side to side. Noticing how it feels. We'll pause right here. Shift the weight toward your left knee, breathing in, extending right leg behind. So I'm going to move forward a bit so that you can see that. When I'm extending my right leg behind, the hip is level that is not going to hide my right hip higher than left. Bring the chest forward, feel the engaging of the abdominal and the glute by press your right heel away as if you're trying to straighten your knee. If this is enough for you, you stay right here. For those who think that you can find balance, extending left arm forward. By doing this, focusing on reaching leg and arm to an opposite direction. Not only working on your core, it's strengthening your lower back. Breathe in and out, two more breaths. On your next exhale, bring your left hands down, 
right foot down toward the floor, then bring your knee down, find your table. We're gonna switch to the opposite side. Inhale, extending left leg behind, press the heel away, lengthening to your thigh bone. Then focusing on the body, now draw your chest away from your belly, chin slightly forward, look towards the tops of the mat, you can see whether this side have more balance by extending right arm forward. Remember that not allow your left hip to hike. You can feel like you roll the outer heel on your left side away from your body or feel like you point the big toe on your left side towards your right ankle. Once you find your balance, focusing on your breath, on your next exhale, bring your hands and knee down. Open up your knee out wide as so far you feel comfortable. Bring the big toe to touch, then shift the tailbone towards the heel. Begin to feel first before you move your arm that you allow your rib cage down closer toward the floor, then forehead rest first towards the mat, then extending the arm forward as if you're lengthening your armpit from the pinky side of your hand on each side. Maybe rock your hip side to side to see whether that will help you stretching from the hip all the way up to your shoulder armpit to the fingertips. Observing your breath, can you feel that you're trying to draw your heart forward away from your belly? And as you draw your heart forward, feel the top of the shoulder, roll it back towards your tailbone. Breathe in and out. Then slowly bending your left elbow, draw your arms back slightly so that you can bend your elbow. Inhale, roll your left ear down towards the floor. Begin to bring your right arm out to the side and lift it up towards the ceiling. Turn the right shoulder away from your heart. So I'm going to show on the opposite side so people on the video can see it. So that the bend of the elbow is helping you support. Then you're going to bring that sh shoulder away from the heart and up toward the ceiling. It's not about how high you're reaching your arm, it's about how far you can draw that shoulder away from the heart. Then slowly bring that arm down, bend at the elbow, roll your forehead down and pause. That helps rotating your neck and shoulder, so releasing the tension right there that we call office syndrome. When you're ready, we're gonna go to the opposite side. So this time it's gonna be bending at your right elbow. Inhale, bring your right ear down toward the floor and begin to turn your head over to your left side, reaching left arm out and up toward the ceiling. Relaxing and let the gravity draw you down towards the earth without trying to push. It's not about how hard you try, but rather experience it and let the pose unfold through your breath. Continue to breathe in and out. One last breath, inhale, exhale, bring everything down, bend at the elbow, roll your forehead down. Then when you're ready, begin to bring your left elbow up, fingertips sliding towards your mat, palm begin to facing up toward the ceiling. This is called internal rotation of your shoulder, sliding that left hand right behind your back or lower back. We'll do the same thing on the right arm. Inhale, bring your hand towards your fingertips, lift the right elbow towards the ceiling, and then sliding that hand back until the palm facing up towards the ceiling, then bring that hand on top of the left hand, right hand on top of the left. Relaxing your shoulder, Inhale, bring the elbow away from the floor and hug the shoulder blade toward the center, elbow point toward the ceiling. Keep pressing both palms toward one another. Exhale, drop the elbow down, relaxing neck and jaw. Feel the gravity heavy down toward the floor. Two more times, like butterfly wing. Inhale, bring your shoulder away from the heart or away from each other by bring your elbow out and up toward the ceiling as far as range of motion you can. It's stretching the chest muscle and muscle on your shoulder blade. Exhale, drop the elbow down. 
One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Then let it go. Bring your hands down toward the floor. Maybe rock your hips side to side. Roll your forehead one more time. Then begin to press with the hands. Bring yourself back up. Walking your hands forward. Find your table or hands and knee. I'm going to come back to the center of the mat. And then we'll continue. <coughs> Inhale, tuck in the toe. Lift the knee off from the ground and begin to bend your knee, but bring your ribcage toward your thigh bone. Head down toward the floor, lengthening your arms by push your palms away from your body. So your knee is still bending. I'm turning on the side so you can see it. So my ribcage closer toward my thigh bone, knee still bending, head down that you cannot guess. On your next inhale, you're gonna slowly, as you bring your heel down, you're gonna lift your tailbone away from your heel without moving your torso. So that way you can feel the back of the leg get lengthening and stretching the muscle of the back of your leg or hamstring. Navel in toward the spine. Once you find that downward facing dog, then begin to bend one knee at a time by paddling to your feet. Feel the releasing of the tension into your joint and letting go of your muscle. Couple more times, remember to breathe and noticing what's happening as you're trying to lengthen your leg by press the heel down toward the floor and bend the opposite knee. What and which part of the body feel the relax, which part of the body engage. We pause right here in your downward facing dog. Inhale, bending your knee, eye looking forward, walking your feet forward toward your hand, standing forward fold. As you bend your knee, bring your ribs toward your thigh bone, then bring your hands to grab toward your ankle. Slowly come back to touch your thigh bone, bring your tailbone down, elbow in towards your ribs, lift the chest up. Noticing if your knee go forward or the way towards the ball of the foot, Shift back with your heel that you can lift the toe up into your chair pose. Now you're not sure that you're arching your back hand to your hip flexor. Tilt the tailbone up and come up a little bit more. That way you're not using your back. And then you can grab to your thigh bone so that you can relax in your elbow. Lift the chest up away from your belly. So this is your chair pose. Feel the weight with your heel. Inhale, you can push down to your heel. Squeeze your tailbone and thigh bone. Lift the heart up. Draw your outer heel and the pinky side of the, the foot away from each other. You can lift your toe all the way up. Exhale, press all the toe down. Inhale, arms out to the side. Bring your arms up. Allow the palms to touch. Bend your elbow. Breathing in, reaching the arms back up, lengthening your elbow, tailbone down towards your heel. If you're arching your back, squeeze your buttock towards one another. Exhale, bend the elbow, bring the elbow up, but hands right behind your head. Releasing that palm touch, but begin to open the arms out, interest your hands behind your head. Rest your head toward your hand, press your hand toward your head, feel that recess. You open up the front of the chest, hug your shoulder blade in toward one another. Today we're working more about upper body. Inhale, tilt the chin up, keep elbow apart. Feel the stretch from that armpit to the elbow. That way you're knowing that you use the muscle on the outside of your arm. On your next exhale, slowly. Turn the head and shoulder over to your right side until you find the edge. Don't go too far. Keep pressing down towards your left foot. Once you find the edge, on your next exhale, draw your chin towards your right shoulder. Let the spinal rotation towards your neck. Cervical spine that you've just enough for you to feel comfortable. Breathing in, lift your chin back up, turn your torso back. Notice the difference. Exhale, turn your chest and shoulder over toward your left side. Press your right shoulder and the right foot down. 
Exhale, rotating your neck and by bringing your chin toward your left armpit, maybe drop your right elbow down, lift that left elbow up. See whether if you bring the gaze up toward the ceiling, you're noticing any chips and change inside your body. Breathing in, lift up, coming back toward the center. Releasing your arms out and up and exhale, bend the elbow, bring the elbow apart from the heart, continue to squeeze your tailbone towards one another, open the chest, exhale, letting go of your arms down, shaking it all out, and see how you feel. We'll come back to your mountain pose, feet hip width apart, lift your toe up first, you're activating the arch area. Press from the heel and begin to bring each toe down toward the floor one at a time. The arm position to make it right, try to bring your thumb forward, elbow hugging in towards the ribs, pinky side or the middle finger go to the seam side of your pants. Then relaxing your arms without tensing, Thinking about bringing your shoulder apart from each other, chest lift, shoulder back, chin parallel toward the floor, gaze forward. Then begin to bring your hands toward your hip. Look forward about 10 to 12 feet forward. Shift the weight toward your right foot, inhale. Lift your left heel off from the floor. Try to make it as light as possible by engaging your abdominal and visualizing as if you draw your thigh bone towards the hip by lifting the heel. Noticing the weight shift toward your right foot, can you root it down toward your right foot? Exhale, lower your left heel down. Breathing in, press down firmly toward your left foot. Exhale, try as lightness as possible as if you slow motion like a feather, that the thigh bone drawing it up toward your rib and your heel on the right side floating it up on its own. So bring your knee towards your hips on the right side. It will help lift your left, your right heel up from the floor. Exhale, bringing it down. Now you find your mountain. Now we're going to add it on. Shift the weight with your right foot. Feel it firmly. And slow motion. Floating that knee. And bring the left heel off from the floor. Turn the left knee out to the side without shifting your hips. That's why your hand is toward your hips so that hips and knee align. That is only external rotation as much as you can. Left heel toward your right ankle. Stay right here or press your calf to your inner thigh. The focus today is about bring awareness toward your breath and your posture and alignment. Once you find your tree pose, you can bring your arms out or keep at the hips or arms up. See whether what is your intention, what is your focusing. For me today, the focusing is not about how far I can go. I want to keep my alignment without any tension into my body and still find that balance. Stay focused toward your breath. One last breath, breathing in, exhale, release everything down toward the floor. Noticing the left side, right side first, then shaking it out. Observing your balance, feel the effect. Coming back to your mountain pose by feel the weight evenly on both feet, hands to your hip. Shift the weight toward your left foot, breathing in, bend your right knee, lift your right heel up from the floor as if you're floating it up. When you feel the floating it up, you're engaging your abdominal, feel like navel in toward your spine. Exhale, turn your right knee up, bring the heel towards your ankle, find a balance and see where you want to put your right foot to your left leg. Your hands can continue be to your hips, can open out to the side or up. It's your choice and make it your practice. Continue to breathe, couple more breaths. And noticing whether you find this side more balanced or the other side. 
When you have enough, on your next exhale, letting go everything, bring the feet down both sides and arms down. Checking it all out. Then find the block and come back to meet me at the tops of the mat. Inhale, bring your arms out, reaching it up and allow the palms to touch, bend your elbow. Exhale, bring your hands toward your heart and begin to shift the weight toward your heel, bending your knees, scoot your tailbone back, draw your ribcage with your thigh bone into your chair pose. You don't have to sink in deeper, it can be right here. On your next exhale, hands grab into your thigh. Inhale, reaching left arm forward. Exhale, bring the left arm to the outside of your right leg. Begin to twist and turn that chest to the right side. Drop your left shoulder down, relaxing to your face, your jaw. Inhale, back toward the center. Left hand grab to your thigh bone. Right arm forward. Exhale, twist by turn your right shoulder towards your left knee. Bring the right arm outside your thigh bone or grab into your knee. Drop your right shoulder down, roll your left shoulder up toward the ceiling, engaging your abdominal, squeeze your navel. Breathing and coming back toward the center, grab to your thigh bone. Slowly grab to your shin bone, down toward the floor, into your standing forward fold in your own version. Whether or not you bring your tailbone toward the ceiling, away from your heel or not. Nodding yes, stay right here, hands grab toward the elbow, Roll your torso forward and back. Observing and see which option accessible for you today. Let the crown of the head hanging down toward the floor. Roll your torso side to side, observing the difference. When you have enough hands down toward the floor, shift the weight toward your left foot, breathing in step right foot back. Then begin to bring your knee down, grabbing the block. Bring the block about shoulder width apart. And if you are not sure whether you step the right foot back enough, first checking in with your left knee. If your left knee is over than your left ankle or slightly on the top, scooting or bring your left foot slightly forward so that the knee on your left side is behind your ankle. If the block is too low, you can bring it higher so that you keep your hips level and shoulder relaxed. Breathing in, shift your left knee forward until the knee on top of the ankle. Noticing by if I shift my left knee forward, my right thigh will come forward itself. But rather than let my torso collapse with my thigh bone, I lift the shoulder and ribcage away from my thigh bone. Exhale, you shift your hip back slightly. Inhale, as you shift your left knee forward, point and see whether your knee roll inside or out, focusing on me pointing towards your third and fourth toe. And then lift the chest up away from your belly, roll your shoulder back by half your shoulder blade toward the center. Deep breath in and breathing out. Slowly shift back, bring your block down, hand inside. Sliding that foot back, bring the left toe down, extending the left leg out, adjusting hands and knee. Breathing in, turn the right toe out to the side, left toe to the left. Walking your right hand, that the hands are wrist in line with your right knee. Left hands behind your back to roll your left hip up toward the ceiling into your kneeling side plank pose. Breathing in, option to lift your left arms up or draw your left arm forward away from your left heel and hip. Keep lifting the bottom ribcage, the right ribcage away from the floor that you're engaging your oblique muscle. Deep breath in, breathing out slowly. Bring your hands down, turn the toe in. Bring your left knee back. Option one, trying this one is Walking your hands forward, then lower your forearms down, forehead down toward the floor into your puppy pose. And if you don't like this, you can go to chai pose like we did at the beginning. By allowing your knee to be apart, big toe touch, 
Shift the tailbone towards the heel. Torso on tops of the thigh or forehead down toward the floor. So choose the option that what work well for you at this moment. One more breath, breathing in, breathing out, walking your hands back, come back to your table. When your body ready, tuck in the toe, lift the knee off from the ground, draw the navel in, begin to lift your tailbone up toward the ceiling, you can keep your knee bending, focusing on press your thigh bone and rib cage toward one another to lengthen your arm by push your palm away. Each time you exhale, see whether you can lower your heel down closer to what the floor doesn't have to be touched as you bring your tailbone toward the seat. Paddling to your feet, walking the dog one at a time by bending your knee one at a time. Downward facing dog. When you have enough, pause, bend both knee eye looking forward, walking your feet forward toward your hand, standing forward fold. Bring your hands to grab to your thigh bone, supporting yourself. Push down to your heel, lift the chest up, elbow in. Breathing in, bring your tailbone towards one another, squeeze your buttock. Bring your arms out and up, let the palm touch. Exhale, softening to your heart, still engaging your tailbone. Bring your hand in front of your heart, feel the difference. Softening to your face, your jaw, your throat. Can you bring your elbow down towards your ribs, shoulder down, relaxing. We're going to start the second side. Inhale, bend your knee, arm out to the side, reaching it up. Breathing out, bend your knee, tailbone down, leading with your heart. Bring your hands down toward the floor. Then shift the weight toward your right foot. Step your left foot as far back as you can, grabbing the block, then lower the knee down. Now your foot is closer toward the midline of the mat heel, toe your foot out. If your knee is over your ankle, maybe scooting, bring your right foot forward so that the knee behind your ankle. Block, bring your shoulder width apart, wrist underneath your shoulder. Breathing and shift the hip forward. You see that how I shift the hip forward by bringing my right knee forward on top of the ankle. And if your torso collapsing, as you bring your knee forward, begin to lift the shoulder away or think about draw your ribcage away from your thigh bone. Observing this side of your hip flexor. Exhale, shift your tailbone just a couple inch back. Inhale, slow motion, come forward just enough that you feel the stretch without pulling or feel a deeper stretch. Exhale, shift back. One last time, inhale as you come forward, pause and feel. Once you have enough, move the block away, hands down. Sliding that right foot back, bring your toe touch first, then adjusting, bring your hands back to bring your wrist underneath your shoulder. As your toe touching down toward the floor, press your heel away. Breathing in, turn your left knee out to the side, right toe out to the side. Then adjusting to bring your wrist in line with your left knee, left wrist underneath your shoulder. Right heel is away from your right hip, right arm behind your back. Inhale, lift the right hip up toward the ceiling at the same time as you draw your right heel away from your hips and shoulder. Noticing you engaging your lower break and not at arm. Or over, or engaging your oblique muscle or not by drawing your left or bottom ribcage away from the floor. Next option, inhale right arms up, then draw your right arm forward away from your right hips and heel. Try a slow motion and see which option is work for you. Stretching to the right side of your body and to these kneeling side plank pose. Deep breath in, exhale slowly, bring your right hands down, turn both knees down toward the floor. Choose the option whether you want to rock your hips side to side, go back down to your chai pose or puppy pose. And some of you might even want to go up to your downward facing dog, so choose your option. 
listening to your body, what is resonating with you right now? Breathing in, begin to come back to your table. Walking your hands back. And allow your wrist to be underneath your shoulder, knee underneath your hip. Inhale, extending left leg behind, press your heel away, lift the heart forward. Exhale, draw your knee toward your chest, working on your abdominal contraction at your belly. Breathing in, lengthening, look forward, not rounding your back, press the heel away. Engaging your glute, exhale, knee forward toward your chest. One more time, inhale, reaching it out and away. Now this time, as you exhale, you can option one toe touching first and then drag your leg outside. Or if you want to work on your core, just bring your leg out. Then let the whole left foot down, toe pointing forward. Then walking your hands back towards your left thigh bone, lift up into your gate pose. Checking in knee, hip, shoulder in the alignment. Draw your heel away from your hip. Hands to your left thigh bone, breathing in, right arms up. Exhale, tilting over to your left side, roll the right shoulder back. Keep the right shoulder away from your right hip. Exhale, slowly coming back. Then bring your hands down toward the floor. Breathing in, left arms out and turn your chest over to your left side. Lift the heart up, roll the left shoulder away from your heart up toward the ceiling. Allow that spinal rotation from your torso toward your neck, relaxing. Exhale, release, bring your hands down. Sliding that left foot back, knee down to your table. Noticing the difference between left side, right side. When your body ready, shift the weight with your left knee, extending right leg behind, press to the heel once again. Roll your inner thigh in, draw your outer heel on the right side away so that hip is level. Lift the heart up, look forward toward the tops of the mat. Exhale, navel in toward the spine as you draw your knee forward or thigh bone toward your rib cage. Breathing in, find the length, squeeze your buttock, press the heel away, flex the toe. Exhale, knee forward toward your chest. One last time, inhale, exhale. On the next inhale, as you're extending the leg back, option one, you can let the toe touch, then dragging your foot out, or keep that leg up. And then engaging your core, roll that right leg out to the side, bring your heel down, toe point forward. Begin to walk in your hands back, right hands on top of the thigh, and take a moment to adjust. Can you bring your right heel in line with your right knee and hip and bring that right heel away? If you chill your torso this way, see what you can. Lengthening the left side by using your hand to press your right thigh bone. Inhale, reaching left arms up, gate pose. Exhale, tilting over to your right. Just enough that you feel the left side of your ribcage open up that space. Stretching the intercostal muscle on the left side of your body. One breath, inhale. Exhale, release, bring your hands down. Then slowly walking your hands forward until your wrist underneath your shoulder. Breathing in, shift the weight with your left hand, draw your right arms out and up, turn the chest to your right side, right shoulder toward the ceiling. Allow the heart to open. Continue to breathe on your next exhale, bring your hands down, bring your knee down toward the floor, walking your hands toward your knee, roll the hip to one side, come back to your sitting. As you come back to your sitting, allow your leg to extending forward, hands grab into your sitting bone, rock side to side. Find the balance of that sitting bone down toward the floor. Now for those who have tight hamstring, rather than trying to straighten your leg, maybe use the block to support it underneath your thigh bone. 
See whether that way we can bring your torso forward so that the shoulder in line with your hip. Hands can grab to your block or underneath your thigh bone. Relaxing your shoulder by drop the elbow down closer toward your ribcage. Breathing in, lift the chest forward even more and up away from your belly. Roll the shoulder back. Flexing your toe by pressing the pinky side towards your knee. Deep breath in, begin to bring your hands in front of your shin bone. As you exhale, navel in toward the spine, begin to sliding your arm forward as you leaning forward to bring your ribcage toward your thigh bone. So that way you're working on your range of motion. For those who have more flexibility, without moving your torso, you can starting off by removing the block. One at a time, you see that my torso not moving, I just move the block and I continue to grab my thigh bone and see what I can slide in my hand even forward more towards my ankle. Or continue to grab up your shin bone and sliding your heel out one at a time. Wherever and what intention that you want to stretch, the intention of this pose is to stretching your hamstring. Flexing the toe towards your knee, observing the difference. If you still feel that tightness, maybe point the toe forward and back one at a time, like what I did is paddling to my feet. Then pass right here into your sitting forward fold. Exhale slowly, sliding your hands back, bend your knee one at a time. Roll your hips side to side once again. Today the focusing is not about like doing downward facing down, you're working on your core, strengthening your back and learn how to twist properly and sitting properly. So you see my shoulder still on top of my hip by bending my knee as much as I can and grabbing to the thigh bone to bring the, my elbow closer. So that way I'm not straining my neck and shoulder. First option, you're gonna grab right here. Inhale, you can lean it slightly back using your abdominal and lift your chest away from your belly, relaxing to your neck and throat. The minute you feel like you strain to your neck, then come back. Try to use your abdominal. So squeeze the navel, relaxing. You can continue to hold right here or engaging with the hands in, towards one another like you hold the uh, energy ball. Exhale, twist to your right. Inhale, back toward the center. Exhale, twist toward the left. Inhale, back toward the center, checking in. Do you want more? Then you can bring your heel and knee to touch. It will be more difficult. Next option, lift both feet off of the floor, knee bending. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, back toward the center. Exhale, twist toward the left. Two more time on each side. Inhale back toward the center. Exhale, twist right. Inhale back toward the center. Exhale, twist left. Inhale back toward the center. Exhale, release everything down. Find your comfort sitting and roll your torso back to letting go of lower back tension into anywhere of your body. Breathing and sliding your hands back up. Extending right leg out, bending your left knee, cross your left foot to the outside of the right thigh, lengthening to your torso. If this is too much for you, then press the left foot inside your right thigh. Draw your right heel away and flex your toe. Once you find a position, grab both hands in front of your left shin bone. Inhale, see where you can bring your ribcage toward your thigh bone on the left side. Lift your torso up for lengthening. On your next exhale, keep your hands right there. Only turn your right shoulder toward your left knee. Keep drawing, drawing, drawing until you feel like you're trying to bring your right ribcage toward your left thigh. Next option, begin to release your left arm and turn your left arms away. The intention of this pose is not just only about the twist, it's also stretching the muscle on the left glute by drawing your left knee toward your right shoulder, it brings the left knee away from your left hip. Deep breath in, exhale back toward the center. I'm crossing your leg, maybe widen your feet apart, hand outside, 
Roll your knee gently side to side like a windshield wiper. You ease that tension off from your lower back and hip. Do it very gently. Self-love and self-care to your lower back and hip, particularly those who have groin injury. Coming back toward the center when you're ready, extending left leg out, then bend your right knee either foot right in the front or crossing. What determining that to bring the right foot just in the front if you lift your right sitting bone up when you bring your right foot towards the left thigh. Wherever you are, bring both arms in front of your shin bone so that you can hug by drop your shoulder down, inhale, lift the rib cage closer toward your thigh and heart up away from your belly or toward the ceiling. Feel the back of your neck still long without crunching your jaw or your neck. On your next exhale, just rotating the upper body, bring your chest toward the right and begin releasing your right arm as you roll your right arms away from your body. Feel that twist. Squeeze your belly with each exhale. Deep breath in. Exhale, slowly bring your right arms back. Uncrossing your leg, letting go. Once again, back to the hands outside your hip. Feet as wide as you feel comfortable. It will be more easier. Exhale, roll the knee to one side, whatever your body calling for. Just a bit too wide to relaxing your lower back. Coming back toward the center and find your way to find your way to lie down toward the floor. If you have lower back pain, you're gonna roll your knee to one side, walking your hands until your elbow down. Roll yourself down toward the floor. Bring your back down toward the floor. Bend your knee, particularly if lower back pain. Allow the knee to touch feet as wide apart as you can. Open the arms out to the side so that this way you can check in the space on your lower back. Maybe tilt your pubic bone forward and back like almost feel like you rock your hip forward and back. And each time you roll your tailbone down toward the floor, the lower back slowly come back down. Draw your arm apart from your armpit as far as you can so that shoulder relaxing down. Once you find the back body, let it go now, you can open your knee apart. Slowly bring your knee toward your armpit one at a time. Hands right behind your thigh. Keep your foot forward, not up to the ceiling yet. We're just gonna massaging your back by rock your hip side to side or your pelvis. Noticing any sensation, any aches and pain, be aware of. Pause at the center, circle your ankle, either clockwise, counterclockwise, slow motion, and see whether as slow as you can. Can you feel the smoothness into your ankle joint or you find the roughness? Reverse the circle to the opposite side and noticing. Some of you might hear the pop, pop, pop. Just notice. Pause right here, then begin to draw your knee towards one another, hands right behind your thigh, elbow closer toward your body. Breathing in as you begin to bring your heel toward the ceiling, flexing your toe. Now you can bring both hands in front of your thigh bone as you press your heel up away from your tailbone without lifting your back, flex your foot toward your knee. Now press your thigh bone toward your hands and your hands toward your thigh bone. Continue to breathe. As you're doing that, it will help the muscle relaxing. Exhale, bending your knee, letting go. Hands can be in front of your thigh bone or you can grab behind your thigh. And this time, checking in as you release your heel up on the Inhale by bring your heel up toward the ceiling without pressing anything. Bring your arms down. And noticing as you draw your heel away from your sitting bone, flex your toe. Can you find your hamstring begin to be more released? You can flex and point and flex the toe. 
continue doing that one at a time to see whether you gain more any weight of motion. Exhale slowly, bending the knee. Begin to bring your foot down toward the floor one at a time. Widen your feet apart, arm away from your body. Deep breath in, exhale, roll both knee over to your right side. And allow your sh left shoulder to be down and left arm away from your body. Your knee may not touch the floor, it just allows your body to twist from the upper body, which is more range of motion than your lower body. If you have more flexibilities and you want more, First option is thinking about draw your left knee away from your left hip. Anchor down towards your left ankle. If you still find right more weight of motion you want more, bring your right ankle on top of the left thigh. Feel the difference and noticing how you blow it back. To uncross your leg by bringing your right foot down, breathing in, roll both knee back up. Bring your chin back toward the center, adjust your foot, pause and feel. Breathing in deeply as you exhale, begin to roll both knee over to your left side. And reaching and lengthening your right arm away from your body. Once again, the next option is to roll your right knee away from your right hip. All the way that right hip flexor, open up more space. Next option, lift your left foot off from the floor, left ankle on top of the right thigh. Observing the difference and continue to breathe. Deep breath in, exhale, release by bringing your left foot down. Roll your knee up one at a time. Bring your arms towards your body. Maybe lift your hips up so now adjusting and see what your body looking for. Should I draw my knee toward my chest one at a time, roll side to side? Or open the knee out wide, so the foot up toward the ceiling, hands right behind your thigh into your happy baby pose. Choose the option that resonating for you what works best. When your body ready for your shavasana, your relaxation, lower your foot down toward the floor one at a time. If you don't like to use the block, you can bring your knee to touch, open out your feet out wide as far as you can into a constructive rest pose, hands on top of the belly. This will relax in your lower back, particularly those who have back pain. Next option, you can use the block. By press the block underneath your thigh bone, extending the leg out as wide as you can. Allow the femur to bone to pull into the socket that the lower back begin to relax with the gravity of the weight of the hip down toward the floor. Whichever option, connecting back to with your breath and scanning through throughout your whole body. Do I need to move anywhere or lift my hips up and then press the hip down? What do I need to let my whole body sinking down more towards the earth? Letting go of the consciousness into your jaw, relax into your face, soften into your eye, relax to your eyebrow. Feel your breath flowing through both nostrils and spread throughout inside of your whole body. Feel that each exhale, your body begin to relax more, that the heaviness of your body, particularly the back body, letting go more towards the neck. Continue to breathe. If your eyes open and gazing up toward the ceiling, or soft close your eyes. Allowing this final moment to connect in to feel your body and become aware of your breath. Smooth, steady flow. Body begin to sinking down. Heart melt and expansion with each exhale.
slowly coming back to your body by wiggling to your hands, your toe, maybe draw your arms away from your body. Or roll your leg in and out, roll side to side, whatever your body calling for. If you have the block, then begin to breathe, relieving the block out from your body, bend your knee. Draw your knee towards your chest, hugging in, roll side to side. Taking the time to think which side you'd like to roll to. Doesn't matter, regardless of which side, you're going to roll to one side. Curl your knee up towards your chest in a side line position. And then let it go, taking your time to let the nervous system begin to return. When you feel ready, press with the top hands, bring yourself back up into your sitting position. Find the most comfort sitting position that your body likes to sit. Doesn't have to be cross legged. Maybe rock, sitting on side to side. See where you can find balance and center and rest your hands where you feel comfortably. Allow that gaze down or closing your eyes to take this time to checking in throughout your whole body, including your breath and your mind. How is it that you feel after this practice? Can you find balance? ease and peace. And finally, taking the time to feel grateful for your body that allowing you to come to this practice. Breathing and draw that arms out, reaching it up and allow the palms to touch. Exhale, hands right in front of your heart and taking your time when you're ready, as we exhale, we bow forward. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining the practice with me today. Have a wonderful day.